uh, on behalf of the Ohio State Bar Association. Uh, let me start off by clarifying that I am not speaking directly in opposition to District 2. Instead, I want to explain to you why the Ohio State Bar Association has taken a position in opposition to Issue 2. Uh, many of the things Alice just mentioned, I don't think we have any disagreement with. The sole basis for the Ohio State Bar Association disagreeing with Issue 2 as drafted is the role of the judiciary in the formation of the redistricting committee. Uh, as you may have heard when the rule was read, the initial group of 42 uh, individuals are selected by appellate court judges. Uh, right now, the way the issue two is drafted, the, Supreme, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court appoints eight appellate judges. And of those appellate judges, four are Republican, four are Democrat. Those appellate judges then vet and select the 42 members of the commission. Uh, and we believe that that improperly places the judiciary uh, in a precarious position, in a very political position, where the judiciary does not belong. Uh, the Ohio State Bar believes that the judiciary needs to be independent, that the judiciary needs to remain high in the public uh, confidence, and that in this highly, highly political issue of redistricting, which totally, Alice, we agree with, is, is uh, probably one of the most political issues right now, we maintain that it is improper for the judiciary to be involved in that process. So that is the sole reason uh, for the objection of the Ohio State Bar Association. We are not taking and we are not affiliating with any group. This is not a Republican stance, it's not a Democrat stance, it is not aligning ourselves with any organization. The Ohio State Bar is strictly, independently, in and of itself, uh, taking this position, again, due to the role of the judiciary. Uh, there have been two recent developments that I did want to bring to your attention, many of which you may know. The Supreme Court of Ohio, uh, I believe it was just last week, uh, issued a decision regarding the language, thank you, regarding the language on the ballot. The language on the ballot uh, for issue two initially did not mention anything about the role of the appellate judges. And that was challenged and the Supreme Court issued a decision. And in the decision, the Supreme Court stated, quote, it is axiomatic that who does the appointing, in this case the appellate court judges, is just as important as who is appointed. Uh, so now, my understanding is the entire language contained in Issue 2 will be on the ballot and not just portions of it. One other point is that as of just yesterday, as recently as yesterday, the Ohio Judicial Conference uh, issued a press release against the passage of Issue 2 and to adopt the position of the Ohio State Bar Association. So the Ohio Judicial Conference, likewise, has taken the position of the Ohio State Bar Association in objecting solely to the involvement of the judiciary in this legislative process. We simply do not think that the judiciary should be involved uh, for, the, for the reasons I have mentioned. So thank you very much. Yes, do we 